A Day's Wait by Ernest Hemingway He came into a room to shut the windows while we were still in bed, and I saw he looked ill. He was shivering. His face was white, and he walked slowly as though it ached to move. What's the matter, Shuts? I've got a headache. You better go back to bed. No, I'm all right. You go to bed. I'll see you when I'm dressed. But when I came downstairs, he was dressed, sitting by the fire, looking a very sick and miserable boy of nine years. When I put my hand on his forehead, I knew he had a fever. You go up to bed, I said. You're sick. I'm all right, he said. When the doctor came, he took the boy's temperature. What is it? I asked him. One hundred and two. Downstairs, the doctor left three different medicine in different colored capsules with instruction of giving them. One was to bring down the fever, another a purgative, the third to overcome an acid condition. The germs of influenza can only exist in an acid condition, he explained. He seemed to know all about influenza and said that there was nothing to worry about if the fever did not go above 104 degrees. This was a light epidemic of flu and there was no danger if you avoided pneumonia. Back in the room, I wrote the boy's temperature down and made a note of the time to give the various capsules. Do you want me to read to you? All right, if you want to, said the boy. His face was very white and there were dark areas under his eyes. He lay still in bed and seemed very detached from what was going on. I read aloud from Howard Pyle's book of pirates, but I could see he was not following what I was reading. How do you feel, Shots? I asked him. Just the same, so far, he said. I sat at the foot of the bed and read to myself while I waited for it to be time to give another capsule. It would have been natural for him to go to sleep. But when I look up, he was... Did you like the story? Sometimes we are worried of something we don't understand. See how bothered the boy about his temperature and turned to be worried and thinking that he will die? For young shots, hopefully, he will learn from his experience to trust his father and to be sure that he is correct in his assumptions about new information provided to him. So before I say goodbye, I want to leave this line to ponder. Misunderstanding can completely change a situation. Till our next story, stay tuned and good luck! This is Kasambalangan National High School Online Radio. Welcome to Audio Assisted Reading Intervention. Another innovative intervention for better learning in this new normal situation.